Today we are at Summerlin West. I'd like to show you what it's like to live here. We'll be starting in downtown Summerlin. I'll be taking you to the urban core and we'll be ending the video at the Grand Park. Are you ready to experience Summerlin West with me? Follow me. Downtown Summerlin features both indoor and outdoor shops and restaurants. It also has a lot of community events that are family friendly. We also have the ballpark where our minor league baseball team aviators practices and plays. We also have the City National Arena where our NHL Championship Vegas Golden Knights practices. In downtown Summerlin, there are over 30 food and beverage options, including restaurants as well as bars and grocery stores. Some of my favorite places I frequent the most include Nordstrom's Rack, H&M, True Foods, Trader Joe's, and also Daiso. For those of you that don't know what Daiso is, Daiso is our Japanese version of a dollar store, and I love visiting there to get really cute snacks and items for the office as well as my home. I just had a client that asked me, Kaori, can you share with me some of your authentic local coffee shops around here? So let me share with you one that's my favorite. It's right behind me, Makers and Finders Coffee. Take a look. Another cool coffee shop that you can find here in downtown Summerlin is Mothership that's located behind me. There's actually three locations of Mothership around town. The first one being in downtown Las Vegas, the second one being off of St. Rose Parkway, and then this is the third one in downtown Summerlin. For all of my showings in Summerlin, I love to take my buyers here to downtown Summerlin so they could really experience what it's like to live here. What kind of shops and restaurants and coffee shops can they find here locally? That's really important for all of my buyers. And for the record, since I had some buyers ask me specifically about authentic coffee shops, for those of you that's interested in finding out all the different authentic and local coffee shops in town, I actually made a map about it. So if you're interested, drop me a comment below and I'll be more than happy to send that to you. From downtown Summerlin, I'll be taking you to Summerlin West, which is only about five to 10 minutes away on the west side of the 215 Beltway. On our way to the urban core, we'll be driving through established communities as well as new construction communities. Are you ready? Let's go. So we're just driving north on the Pavilion Center Drive and to my left is the Red Rock Casino. It is a local casino where you have a lot of restaurants as well as bowling and a movie theater. A lot of locals frequent here all the time and there's always a lot of events happening here as well. Then I'll be making a left going westbound on Charleston Boulevard where we will be seeing some of the established communities and villages. As I make a left on Charleston Boulevard going westbound, I do want to make a note that we do have a huge plaza featuring Costco, and I know Costco is very important for a lot of my buyers, so I just want to make a note of that. There's also Best Buy and other restaurants and shops that are here off of Charleston Boulevard. As we drove westbound on Charleston Boulevard, we came across this plaza where the locals shop. It's anchored by Albertsons, and there are restaurants like Baby Stacks, Dunkin Donuts, there's also Wells Fargo, as well as Bank of America here. Fun fact, Baby Stacks is owned by a Hawaiian couple, and did you know in their kids menu, they have a menu item called Kauri. Check it out. We're still driving westbound on Charleston, and we just drove by West Tech Academy, which is a charter school for high school. And as you can see, we're gonna make a right onto this street here into Summerlin West uh, Established Neighborhoods Community. But if you keep going down westbound on Charleston, you're gonna actually go to the entrance of our Red Rock National Conservation Area. It's so amazing that this community here, Summerlin West, you're just minutes away from our beautiful Red Rock Canyons where you could go hiking, biking, rock climbing, and even horseback riding. Summerlin West comprises of over 5,000 acres of land. This is all expansion land. When fully developed and constructed, Summerlin West will feature 14 villages and about 12 neighborhoods. Summerlin West comprises of established communities south of Far Hills Avenue, built since 2002, and newer communities north of Far Hills Avenue, built since last year, 2022. You can find villages like the Vistas, Paseos, and Stonebridge south of Far Hills Avenue. And the median price of a single family home sold in the last six months was $820,000 at 335 per square feet. 
One of my first transactions in my first year of real estate was this beautiful home in a gated community here in the Paseos Village. I represented the buyer who is relocating here from Irvine, California with their family. What was really important for them was a walkable elementary school. In this case, the walkable elementary school from this community in Paseos is called Basiliadis. The beautiful home closed at $895,000 at a square foot price of $265 and that was three years ago. Here in Summerlin West, north of Far Hills Avenue, you could find the Las Vegas Metro Police, as well as the fire station number 47. Now all the villages that are built north of the Far Hills Avenue behind me was built since last year of 2022. These are all new construction homes. The median price of a single family home sold north of Far Hills Avenue was at 750,000 in the last six months. The sold price per square foot was at $338. Now this is very interesting because compared to the established communities, the median price is lower, but the price per square foot is higher. Here you can find villages like Red Point, Red Point Square, Kestrel, and Kestrel Commons. Now let's talk about the builders you could find in each of these villages. In the Red Point Village, you could find builders like Taylor Morrison, Toll Brothers, TriPoint Homes, Pulte Homes and Lennar. Since Red Point was the first village to be constructed for new construction homes, most of these communities are either sold out or close to being sold out. In Red Point Square, you could find a combination of single family homes as well as townhomes. And here are the builders you could find in Red Point Square. Richmond America, Woodside Homes, Toll Brothers, TriPoint Homes, and Lennar. In Kestrel and Kestrel Commons, off of the Lake Mead Boulevard, here are the builders you could find. Taylor Morrison, Woodside Homes, Pulte Homes, Richmond America, and KB Homes. By the way, if we haven't met yet, konnichiwa, my name is Kaori Nagao, your global real estate advisor helping you find your new home. Whether it's a new construction home in a new community like this one in Summerlin West or anywhere in the world, I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it when you engage with me. So comment below and let's go take a look at Summerlin West. Now I'm standing in the future of Urban Core. Urban Core is located just west of the Summerlin Parkway expansion and it's considered the yin of downtown Summerlin's yang. It's an area dedicated to commercial use throughout Summerlin West, developed in harmony with the needs of its neighbors. Interesting places between home and the office, that invites you to stop, hang out, catch up with friends, a quiet corner to do some work, a vibrant square, or maybe even a place to call home. Taking town to a higher level, the urban core will be an original and lively town center, easily accessible from the trails and parks just outside your backyard. A new destination with its own identity born from its unique location. Can you guys guess how much it's gonna cost for this future expansion of the Summerlin West Parkway? It's going to cost the city over $100 million and they're expected to last 18 months. The project includes the reconfiguration of interchange ramps and the construction of new ramps, four new roadway bridges, and widening the existing Summerlin Parkway Bridge. Nothing has been officially announced, but I love hearing rumors and the rumor says that we're going to be expecting a possible smaller hotel or casino, as well as a Whole Foods or Sprouts and a possible super target. You can find more commercial use spaces north of the urban core along the 215 freeway going north until you hit Lake Mead Boulevard. Going west on Lake Mead, you will find the Kestrel and Kestrel Commons villages. I personally love showcasing Crested Canyon community by Taylor Morrison because I have sold multiple new homes here. The first two transactions of this community was mine, one investor who is collecting $3,400 per month rent, and the other primary residents who relocated here from Southern California. As we drive along Lake Mead Boulevard westbound, I'm going to show you where the future custom lots are slated to be. These custom lots will be on an elevated mountainside with beautiful views of our city. When you purchase a custom lot, you can choose which builder to build your dream home. I'm currently working with a custom design build company called Blue Heron for my buyers who are creating their dream retirement home. Custom lots in Las Vegas and Henderson all the way to 10 million plus. 
I wonder what the starting price of these lots in Summerlin West are going to be. Now this area here is slated to be the new middle and high school by Clark County School District. As more families relocate to Summerlin West, there'll be a huge need for new schools. We're just driving by Nighthawk. It's a KB community, two-story homes ranging from 1720 to 2466 square feet. I actually have a client that is under contract here. Now I'm standing in the future of the Grand Park, just west of the urban core. The Grand Park will feature an outdoor recreational area for the residents of Summerlin West. It will provide a visual break to the residential development and a stunning view corridor to the Western Mountain Range. The surrounding homes will take on a more relaxed, traditional character with a mix of prairie, craftsmen, farmhouse, and Southwest contemporary styled homes. Now it's time for pop quiz. I want to make sure that you've been paying attention to my video. What is the cost of the Summerlin Parkway expansion going west? A, $50 million, B, $75 million, C, $100 million, and D, $150 million. The first person to comment below with the right answer will get a shout out on my next YouTube shorts. Isn't it exciting to witness and be part of this dynamic growth of Summerlin West? The next 10 to 15 years of Summerlin West growth is going to be spectacular. Buckle up because we're in it for an incredible ride together. Make sure you comment below and share with me your thoughts on Summerlin West and what you thought about this video. For more videos about new construction, if you're interested in buying new construction homes anywhere in the world, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you're made aware of my new weekly content. Thank you so much and see you on the next one.